When you start making videos or posting content regularly, like Guillaume uh, has discovered, what's something that happens is you start to get spam. You start to get spammers saying, hey, I have ideas to improve your video channel or your videos, or I can repurpose your videos into TikTok reels, Instagram reels, shorts, and you just start getting them or you start getting emails about um, people wanting to, to guest blog or having you guest blog or um, they can get you some spot on a website or whatever. It's all kinds of spam that's supposed to improve your SEO. And the problem with all this is if they were so good at SEO, they wouldn't be reaching out as spammers. <laughs> let's, let's first get that really clear. Mm -hmm. The people who spam us are desperate because nothing else they do is working. And so they're like, well, I guess I just have to spam 100,000 people or you know, 10,000 people at the, at the least 10,000 people. And hopefully one person out of the 10,000 will, um, will, will be like, well, I'm curious enough to try it out. And then of course, what they're gonna do to your channel because they're coming from a desperation spam, spam, spamming mindset, it's probably not gonna be healthy for your channel in the long run. So my recommendation is to ignore the spammers. And if, if, if there are any spammers who are watching, I, I'm sorry. And I, uh, I really genuinely hope that you can find a way to get into authentic marketing, um, which does not is the opposite end of the spam spectrum, because authentic marketing is much more likely to build you a business that's sustainable, stable in the long term and in the short term, too. So. Yes, Guillaume, thanks for raising this. Congratulations on your consistency that's now bringing you spammers. But just know every time you see a spammer, you can say, yes, that's a signal that I'm reaching so many people now that some of them are spammers. <laughs> so congratulations on that.